Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. You are here. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't sure that was the person who was here or when you're still sleeping. What holiday did we just have? A lot of you didn't have to go to school. President's Day. Yeah, President's Day. Okay. So what is a president? I'm not sure. Yeah. Joey, can you tell us? A leader, I'm not sure a leader, a leader of the U.S. Exactly. Okay, a president, a simple way of explanation is this that he's a leader of the U.S., the United States, or any other country, okay? But yeah, we have a president. Some countries have kings, though. What, what's a king? Someone who's like completely complete. Well, yeah, he, he's, like basically he, he's a leader of the country also. Like an emperor. Like an emperor, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what's our next big holiday coming up? Who knows? Okay, Easter, right? I know the next one because. Uh, Is it? Whoa. What day? April. April. <coughs> April Fool's <Fool. laughs> Day. what Easter is all about. And in our Bible lesson today, we hear about a king. The, the Bible verse didn't call him a king, but his name was Herod. And they, well, if you're listening, did anybody listen? What did Herod want to do? He wanted to kill Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, people came and warned Jesus that this king, this king Herod, wanted to kill Jesus. And if you remember back, when Jesus was born, there was another king. Actually, it was Herod's father that wanted to kill Jesus. He, yeah. He, yeah, he was a king before this Herod. Yeah. Yeah. He, he I think he was Herod, too. Yes. Yeah, he was called Herod the Great, but he was a king before uh, Herod. To this Herod, this king Herod. So <coughs> Jesus knew of this threat, probably he, I'm sure that he knew that, you know, the, the other king, Herod, wanted to kill him also. So this was a real good threat. You think Jesus was afraid? No, I think. Oh, do you, do, does anybody remember what Jesus told the people that came in the war? I feel sick. Oh, well, okay, yeah. But first, he said, go and tell that fox. Now that. So the fox and the king that they were near life. Maybe some of the same colors on the fur and stuff. But today, if we call somebody a fox, we're kind of, kind of telling them, oh man, they're, they're smart. Or they're really cute like you. <laughs> but you think Jesus was telling the people to go tell that cute king that he had to do, go about his father's business? No. no. Back, back in Jesus' day, telling someone that they were a fox was like telling them they were nobody. They're like just an animal. You know, they're nothing. I don't need to be afraid of you. He had to go about doing Jesus', I mean, about his father's business, healing the sick, teaching about himself. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, why, why do you think the kings wanted to kill Jesus? Why, why are all these people wanting to kill Jesus? Because Jesus was a king. Exactly. And they thought that if they killed the king, that they would win. People think that just, you know, they can conquer anything if they eliminate the people they don't like. They thought they could be king forever. <coughs> but you know what? You can't eliminate Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Jesus conquered death, even. Jesus did die on that cross. We'll find out on Easter, or Good Friday, actually, that Jesus did die on that cross for our sins. But Jesus conquered death by rising again. Jesus won, not the people that were trying to kill Jesus. And we, too, 
can have that same, we can, too can be comforters by having eternal life through the gift that Jesus gave us of forgiveness and having faith in Him. Okay? So let's remember that throughout this Easter season, that Jesus did conquer death. And that we, too, will <coughs> conquer death and have faith in Jesus. And that we, too, will conquer death. Okay? The way we conquer death is by having faith. Exactly. For those that didn't hear, Joey said the way we conquer death is by having faith in Jesus. Exactly. That's how come we can conquer death, too, that we will rise to be with them. He's going to take us to be with them. Okay, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for this Easter season that's coming upon us, Lord. Help us to not only remember for ourselves that we can be conquerors. We don't need to be afraid of the people trying to hurt us because you have been victorious. And through you and through faith in you, we too can be victorious. And help us as we try to share that with others that do not know it at this Easter season. And we ask all this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can get some old things there from Pastor and we'll go back to your seats and we'll continue with